Uh, we had an amazing day today in the tropics. We did. Let's look at this video. You oh, rarely goodness. see a Cat 5 hurricane. It, You're it, right. It's a very unusual, very mm. special thing that happens on planet Earth. And today, this morning, hurricane hunters flew it as it was cranking from Cat 4 to Cat 5. The eye that you see there was only about seven miles wide at this point which is amazingly small. And when the eye gets that small, it's, it's just like a figure skater. You know, figure skater, they're gonna spin, they start with their arms out, and they pull their arms in, and they spin faster as they pull their arms in. When the eye gets smaller and tighter like this, it's an indication that the storm is pulling its arms in and getting stronger and intensifying, and what a sight. And the flight, we tracked them. This is the flight that ended up with that plane, the Hurricane Hunter, flying right through the center of the storm. At this point, they were lining up for a run at it and watch, put it in motion. They went right through the center, finished up their flight, gathered their data, uh, came back to Bridgetown, Barbados and landed safely. Just an amazing day out there. And it, it's easy to talk about this in these terms because this storm as dangerous as it has become is not hitting any direct landmass. So that's very, very good news. The track did stay to the north of the islands and Puerto Rico. They're getting some breezy conditions and rainy conditions here, but they're not getting that. The center, which has winds of 140 now, it has weakened. It topped out with winds at 160, dropped down to 150 at 7. Now here at 10 o'clock, they're down to 140. And you can see the eye wall cycle. You can see the eye getting tighter, 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 and then it just sort of occludes itself. When that happens, it's a process called an eye wall replacement cycle, and hurricanes quite often weaken as they're going through that cycle. Now, sometimes when they finish that cycle, they'll restrengthen. This one is not forecast to restrengthen, but maintain cat four strength as it bends north and west of the islands. And then this is the best news. It stays off the east coast of the U.S., splits the gap between the Outer Banks and Bermuda, and does not hit any major landmass. This is a fish storm, and, uh, and Mother Nature picked a good one to be a fish storm in Aaron.